What is going on guys, it's Lloyd Irving here, and for this video we're going to be doing part 3 of the Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment, RE Hollow Fragment, sorry about that, and we are going to be venturing around in the 76th floor. Let's go around and look around. <coughs> sorry if I sound like something, I have something in my throat. We aim for the hundredth floor. Well, that's a duh. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Basically, all you do is just wait for it. Yes, I will. All you do is just follow them around, and you can complete your other quests while doing this. Like, I just got that insect stinger. But don't attack, like, every single one. Only attack the one that has the yellow exclamation point over it. Yay, got one. Another one. Obviously, this is going to be pretty easy, <clears throat> but it's also only floor 76. Oh yeah, it felt good, Coco. It'll feel good later, too. Oh yeah, let's get it going, Coco. Anyways, uh, back to the topic at hand. You can apparently equip armor and weapons on her. But let's defeat some of these units. Um, talk about battle. Um, we can focus on offense for now. Oh, Coco got level 80. Oh, Coco. Mine. Mm. 
my enemies. I'm farming them so that you can't have any. Alright, fine. We'll, go. we'll just keep going. Whatever. Whatevs. Oh, from Coco. And you can get things for completing these types of things. Like, they gave me an agility potion. Or she did. Um, anyone else you help out, they'll give you some potions or something like that. I rarely did them my first time through. And if you heard a cat meow. My cat is bugging me right now. I am scared of spiders. Call me a wuss or whatever. Uh, spiders freak me the crap out. So basically, it's a bunch of lizard men, and you've seen them before if you've been in the anime. Or if you've been in the anime, you've seen the anime. The lizard men, I remember them. I remember them very clearly. And those are lizard men. <laughs> OMG, there's a girl. Toka. Or Toko. This is the first instance where you cannot see the rest of the map or something like that. Oh wait, in Hollow Area you couldn't either. Basically, you just have to map all this out yourself. And there's something wrong here, I cannot go on. But I hate these things, oh my gosh. Sometimes they're so freaking annoying, like in the Hollow Area especially. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, they drop carmine. Oh wait, I need carmine four, not stones. The stones are for creating the weapons. They just go on cooldown. I just don't really like that very much. I admit it does make it a little more difficult. It's 
because I remember seeing a video by Javi, and he's another YouTuber. Um, he defeated the one of the really big bosses in here. That was like level 300 or something like that. And back then, the highest level was 250. But he just did a bunch of sword skills in a row, and uh, he chained them. And it was just two two different sword skills chaining them together that increased your strength, and yeah, that just keeps on building up and up and up. And then he used one skill, one, uh, his ultimate skill, and then it killed it in one shot. But still, I don't understand. Like, how are we supposed to do that type of thing? I don't know. I haven't gotten very far. I mean, look at me. I'm only on the 76th floor. <laughs> Lizard Ting. Oh, that's how you access the map short way. It's just by pressing the middle button. I didn't know that. That was pretty neat. Oh. They kind of changed the chests in here. I don't really like it that they changed it so dark. Before, they were a bright brown color, but, eh, whatever. It has its perks and things I don't like. That's just what you get whenever you get a remake. So, I don't know how to honestly call it a port. I'm trying to figure out how to not lock on. Okay, I think it's L3 to unlock on. I don't know, this is how to just take some messing around with. That would cause me to go down. What do I want? The darker pulsar. Yep, still go down. So the elucidator and the darker pulsar will be the best weapons I have for a little while. Where am I going? I was like, I thought I couldn't move that way. Oh, that was from a new floor. <laughs> Big lizard man. Oh, come on. Sweet. Is there anything else back here? Herm. I don't remember. Huh. Oh well, let's go back. Let's whoop this game! Yeah! Ravenous pass. I think I remember where to get those, um, one things, the thing for the quest. They seriously should have made an option to where you could uh, switch back X and O, like switch it back to the original. See, look, like this is a bright brown, like that's what I'm used to. But anyways, back to that one thing. They should have been able to, they should have made an option so that you could switch it because it's really annoying. 
I'd rather just use O, like say Final Fantasy VII type thing, like where you just use O for everything. <laughs> Oh well. Like I said, there's just some things I like and some things I don't like. Oh, I don't want to go through this way. Let's go back here. Not bad. Really, I'm just looking for Carmine. Because that's really the only thing to do it with. Like, Carmine Ore, that increases your strength. That's really all you're looking for in this game. <laughs> I'm just basically fighting these things for XP, but I don't get very much XP, like, I'm, I'm almost level 101, but it's... <clears throat> also, if you start the hollow area to begin with, which you could, but I don't recommend, because it makes this side so easy, uh, that's a very good place to level up. But I wouldn't stray too far from where you started off in there. Somebody help! Yeah, that's right, Iris, you definitely owe me one. If you knew what I mean. <laughs> anyway. Back to the topic on From what I remember, ah, yes, here it is. See, there was like a little glowy thingy over here, like right there. Yeah. They kind of changed it. it. Blinks now. Man, they changed some things in this game. You can find that around here. Thought they gave you enough to go on with the quest. Oh, here's another one. But I mean, e like even when you first start off the game, this the first flo few floors will be really easy for you because you're already level 100 against level 70 enemies. I mean, seriously, how much easier can it get for you? Oh wait, what am I doing? Um, also, you can move these around by pressing X on them. I'm gonna move it up here. Oh, I now. Ah, here it is. Nothing. Nothing more. Except I just completed them all. All the quests. What? Oh, that's reasonable. Yep, now I'm getting way more XP. There's the main monster we gotta beat. Oh, we got a rejection. Noise, noise. Oh, hey, I love it. Oh, 
Okay. And the special monster and got the intel off of it. Because if you look on the checklist, we got it. Also, you need to discover the boss room, so just come up in here and let's do the labyrinth. You gotta get to the boss room, you know, to find out where it is. This one's not too bad. Like, I love this game, but there's just a lot of annoying stuff to do. But then again, that's how I am like, every game. So yeah, don't even worry about these little guys. They're only level one anyway. Am I going this way? Oh, I see chests on there. Let's go this way anyway. Woo! Let's go, let's go! Come on, Kirito! Move! Move! Yes! Oh, crap, my crap! I was trying to use X! You know what? Since this is really easy for me... Let's start with the scimitar. Let's start upgrading the scimitar. That's actually probably a good idea. Just for anyone. Just start leveling up everything else. Because it gets annoying later. I remember uh, to get some like the katana skill. Oh my gosh, I have to. You have to get this thing. I'm um, wearing um, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, this is gonna annoy me. Uh, oh, scimitar. You have to get scimitars up. Scimitars is at 16, but the reason why I want scimitars is katana mastery at the very end, and I need um, proficiency 1000, that's the maximum. And there's the real labyrinth. <coughs> yeah, that's right, you guys walk on in. Oh, 
this stuff actually is um, pretty wonderful. Okay, that scimitar skill takes forever to do. Also, if you're really low on your mastery skills, like your scimitar skills really low, you're gonna miss a lot. So, I would recommend getting the precision thing, whatever. This thing, target sight. You guys can do that, but honestly, like since I'm recording the video, I'll just, you know, use the faster things. For people that also just want to speed through this and level it up later, whenever like you're just not worrying about it, uh, I'll show that basically where I'm going to do it. I would do it before you're way over leveled, because then it gets just takes forever. Because basically what I do is just auto attack forever. because it hurts my eyes to do this as fast. I can't, oh, that's why it's a dead end. <laughs> it's like, why can't I move? Ooh, wait, there's just over here. There was some value in coming over here. So yeah, I would go to the left first for the treasure, and then go right for the story. Even if you don't want the treasure, it's nice coal to get. Coal, coal. I'm just gonna cut coal. Costs, or at least the EXP one costs experience, but honestly the SP doesn't even matter unless you're going to heal, because the healing stuff requires SP still. It's only battle skills really that have gotten nerfed. If I'm just messing around, I could probably just, you know, mess around with it. Let's see where this goes. Ok, 
crap and went to the same thing. I'm just trying to find out where places go. It's like all the treasure before going into the bus room. Alright then, well, I'll just keep going up. Lizardman Monarch. Oh, it's just like a small side mission. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. I mean, on the later floors, I just was so tired of doing these floors over and over again. I thought the hollow area was like the best part of this game, but doing every single floor over and over again, one by one, it gets really boring. Fast. So I just raced through every floor. It get, I think it gives you like an item or something in it if you complete the mission. Maybe some XP. I don't know, I haven't done this in a while. So I guess we're both gonna find out together! thing of it. I'm keeping it to myself. Oh, a katana. Something I also want to say is so I just recently got a katana right here and I could level up the skill for it but it just, the thing is is I can't have any of the skills for it like I can't have Sumuji Guruma and I can't buy any skills because And the same thing with Turing and Swords. I tell you where to go. It's because I need this Katana Mastery. Because it lets me just uh, uh, obtain, this, uh, obtain the skill category for the Katana Mastery. So it allows you to learn sword skills using katanas. Because you can level up your katana skill up to 1000 before even freaking like get the skills for it. But you just can't use any skills. And katanas are very good for AoE, from what I've seen. And this is how you will know that you're at the boss floor. There will be no enemies on this floor. But 
but all it is is just a straightforward thing to the end of the corridor. And then you get here, and they're like, hey, we found the boss room, let's go back and be like, what's up guys, let's do this. Too bad you can't face it alone. That's what I don't like. Is you can't just be like, hey, I'm gonna go in there right now and face it. Like Kirito did that one time. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Yes. Saving data. Alright. Let's get this going. Come on, boys. Let's get it going. Oh, hey, I'm in my floor again. funny they basically pay, play poker and the winner gets giddy though for an entire day Texas hold them you don't get to play though Speeding through it and. Oh! Press. or hold L1. I forgot about that. And that gets rid of it. Um, that'll be in another video. Um, let's keep going. A lot of the conversations are just stupid little things like that. Like, it's fun to watch and see and read and all that, yes, but yes, yes. it's just not necessary. It's just so much dialogue in this game. Like, I'm one for dialogue. I love dialogue. But dang, there's so much. I always forget which one to go through. Is that one? Nope, that person's not still in it. There yet. And also the 76th floor is basically your home base kind of thing. You'll always be around on there. Oh, um, she's basically just saying what I'm going to be saying soon. Basically, once you uh, once you do all that checklist things, you can go against the boss as long as you have the recommend or er, enough strength and all that good stuff. But I can't. Read, I think it's at 762. But that's basically just so that your team members don't die. Because I think there's an achievement or trophy where no one from the assault team dies throughout the entire game. And I'm going to try to get that if I can. Yo. And I'm going to turn them all in. Got boss information. Hmm. 
Nah, uh, I don't even want to do it. Unless there's a an achievement for doing every single quest, I'm not doing it. I don't want to. I did enough. Uh, I might do that later. But basically, now we could face the boss right now. Because we just go up to this guy and we start the boss fight. But that will be in the next episode of my Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment walkthrough slash let's play. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hope you guys found it helpful. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, and everything else. And more will come in, be coming back to you 